Hello everyone and welcome back to HUD Bricks. Today we'll be taking a look at set number 10245, which is Santa's Workshop. This was released in 2014, had 883 pieces and 6 minifigures. This set was included as part of the Christmas Village line and came complete with Santa's Workshop, several other things, and Santa's Sleigh. Let's take a look at Santa's Workshop first. This cute season building has a giant clock at the top, a Santa's Workshop sign at the side, along with several candy canes, two doors, some Christmas lights, and a beautiful front facade. Now, I say facade because the building doesn't have a whole lot of depth, but looks very cute and would look very nice in your LEGO Christmas Village. On the interior, you can see several parts, including Santa's little reading nook where he'll read all of the children's letter so he can deliver all the presents to them. At the bottom, you can also see a little ladder leading up to the nook. There is also a picture of Mr. and Mrs. Claus in Fiji and a welcome ho 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 mat. Up here, you can see a very, very nice design that can fit Santa for his chair. On the other side, you can see there's a place to wrap presents and a little pin board where it has all of the elves' little knickknacks and papers. We also have some little lights, which just are some clips attached to transparent studs. I love this, and it looks really complete with Mrs. Claus out there in the front giving cookies. Next, let's look at Santa's sleigh. This is a very compact design, but still works and is very iconic. You can see it only has four reindeer, which is rather unfortunate, but they are very cool and have two exclusive pieces. Santa can sit there nicely in his sleigh, delivering all the presents which are in the back. The reindeer just connect to some rods going straight through the middle, and in the back you can see the presents include several different colored wrapped gifts, and a guitar, and a little magic wand. Santa Claus holds his bag, and he fits perfectly in that little spot up there. The reindeers can be easily unattached by taking off the slope piece, and they are just attached by a clip. You can take each and every one of them off if you'd like, and I really like the little bow piece that is used to attach them. The reindeer can easily be transformed into its regular, good, cute little self. You can see that you can take off the bow. There is a little bit of a gaping hole, but you can fill that in with some extra pieces they give for each reindeer. From this angle, you can also see the little printed piece at the back, which has some nice fur on it, and those two cute little eyes at the front. Next, let's take a look at the Elves' Work Bench. I don't know if I'd call this a bench, more like a conveyor belt, but it has a classic spaceship, which is a nice little throwback, and a race car. It has some nice depth, showing how they looks like it comes out of the machine, and there are several levers, a little thing that moves around at the top, some lights, a few exhaust pipes, and a little crank. On the other side, there's no detail whatsoever, but I think it's still cute, and it works perfectly if you put the elves behind it. Next, let's take a look at this cute little tree. It's a pretty simple build. At the top, it has a little star, and it's pretty simple with some plates, some slopes. And you can also see there's the North Pole sign. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a sticker for some reason for the North Pole sign, but it still is very cute. And you've got a baby reindeer. A little bit of a different design, but still adorable. And one last elf. The reindeer, like all the other ones, looks about the same, just with some smaller antlers, smaller arches for the legs, and two studs stacked up for the little paws or hooves or whatever you would like to call them. Here again is the North Pole sign. 
It's kind of ugly from the back, but the wreath looks rather cute, and I really like how the pole looks. Last but not least, let's look at all the exclusive and cute and awesome minifigures. You can see Mrs. Claus with those nice prints, some cookies, white hair, and Santa Claus, which came in a few different sets, but is pretty exclusive and hard to get your hands on. You can see Mrs. Claus has an alternative angry face, I don't know what that's about, but you can also see she has some nice cookies. Next, let's take a look at all of the elves. Now, there are a whole heck of a lot of these elves. And right here, you can see that we have one with a blue shirt, another with a lighter blue shirt, a darker blue shirt, and a red shirt. They're pretty consistent, but pretty diverse at the same time, and I love all the diversity of them. One of them looks like a kid, while the others look like adults with little miniature legs. Now these elves are pretty diverse, but only one of them was able to get an extra face, and he's crying, kinda sad, but the front face is very happy, two very diverse expressions. I love these little guys, and I think they're a nice addition to this set. Alright, that about wraps up this video. Comment down below if you have the set, if you want the set, any other thoughts that you might have. Merry Christmas, and be sure to subscribe, like the video if you went on to enjoy it, and like I said earlier, comment down below. Subscribe so you don't miss out any of my other LEGO Christmas content, and I'll see you all good next time on HUD Bricks.